YouTube, what is good with y'all today? <laughs> um, I got some combination fits for you. This is definitely my, I would say, end of summer uh, compilation uh, combo fits for y'all. Some of this stuff gonna be, you know, you never seen before, as far as like is like my pickups or whatever. So it just kind of like do my wars or we'll just kind of do some together, like in like you know. 15 minutes or something like that a few fits for you guys maybe you can get a few ideas um one of the things that my channel stand out with is yeah i do pickups or whatever but i don't want to just be you know just pickups and then we i leave it at the in the closet just to rot and then you know y'all never see it again i actually reuse and wear my regular pieces you know new and old regularly regularly and also according to the season um i don't want to be just like those other people on here that just like I said, just buy it, wear because, oh, I got a new shirt today. Then I just wear a new shirt with some plain jeans and that be it, you know, and it's like the same stuff all over again. They just keep wearing that one new piece over and over again. I'm more so into colors and combinations. Um, black and white is okay, but I feel like it's kind of safe to play that. But um, I do use black and white a little bit in my fits. Um, but, you know, most people's stuff is like that. And to each his own. But... My style, my channel, I like colors and blah, 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 and all that. So let me get into the first fit. The first fit is this Madras shirt from H&M. Going along with the uh, khaki joggers. Um, you know, I'm doing these fit videos just so you guys can kind of like get an idea, you know, maybe... You know, something you want to roll with. Um, this would definitely be something nice going into the fall. Definitely uh, a Hair 7 kick uh, matchup. Um, this is something I definitely wore with my Hair 7s a lot. This is definitely a, like a go-to fit real quick. Because, um, you know, with the Hair 7s, you don't want to just too much be too basic with it and plain. Just wear black and then try to make the Hair 7s pop. You know, they got that colors and stuff. And I think that Madra shirt definitely brings out that green and red. A little bit of that brown kind of uh, counteracts some of that orange on there, that yellowish orange. Moving on to the next fit. <clears throat> now, you probably wonder, like, oh, well, why ain't he trying them on and all that stuff? Uh, just for the sake of time, and I got nosy neighbors. I'll stay in the apartment and all that stuff. So, all that setting up and all that stuff, you know then you know i don't want to keep wishing upon the star season and season keep passing and i'm missing you you guys missing out on potential fits like on how i dress on a regular basis so this <clears throat> jean jacket definitely a staple should be a staple in any fashionable person wardrobe obviously um and this right here uh like the seafoam green um t-shirt both of these items are from h m and these are Arizona fold up jean shorts, khaki. Definitely pretty nice. Got these in the season sale last year sometime. Uh, like I said, these fold with the crease, definitely one of my favorite pair of uh, shorts. Uh, I got another pair of khaki ones, but they're a little bit more like chino like. Um, I like the jean ones because they kind of like hug, hug the leg a little bit, don't you know? But it doesn't like cut off blood pressure. So definitely remember this. This is definitely like I said, a staple of the jacket because you know we could go through the whole year with this, fall, spring, all that. Now this kind of jacket, if you haven't heard already from my previous pickup videos or in general, this one is a. Uh, actually kind of thin ordered this from a h and website i thought it was going to be a thicker one like a regular jean jacket but this one actually it almost feels like a jean shirt at the bottom but it's built like a jacket uh, but they didn't say it in the listing or on a product listing of h and when i ordered it from the website at the time and i thought i was coming up you know thirty dollars or twenty five dollars for a jean jacket but i'm happy with my purchase anyway the only bad thing about it is it just doesn't have any pockets on the side like a regular jean jacket does and uh it only just has the top pockets though so but uh as far as these colors definitely a nice color um you could play this in the spring right here also with those khaki shorts as well 
those bright like Easter colors, pastels. Definitely like those kind of like colors. So I worked that through the summer and towards the end of summer as well with the seafoam green bright uh, from H&M. Next fit. This is something you might have seen recently on my channel. It's like a previous pickup or whatever. But uh, definitely could wear this together. Chambray shirt. A uh, white t-shirt graphic. This is something simple. You might wear this to the beach or something. Uh, and these right here, these are not swimming trunks, but um, they're definitely uh, something you can wear for the summer. Light cotton, not that heavy stuff. Uh, I know it's some other sweat short uh, shorts out there, but um, you got to watch it out there because you know it'd be 90 degrees out. You end up burning your, roasting yourself alive with them. <laughs> and uh, yeah drawstrings nice fit pocket on the back definitely looks nice with each other play those together looks very great so you know you don't necessarily got to get these exact things but like I said just some ideas you know you might see something like this at Walmart and then you might see something like this at like Target or Kmart wherever you got in your city next fit is uh, the polo I picked up from H&M a few weeks ago. Um, it was part of my pickup video and um, definitely go out <clears throat> with a nice pop of red uh, when you wear these when you wear these shorts. Let me get them together for you guys. <clears throat> I like that rustic red. Um, on camera it might look bright red but it's like a rustic red and a rustic red uh, looks like a little bit more sanded red um, everybody's seen it before but it goes good with blue it hits nice with blue um, if you play it right um, these shorts were part of my 4th of July fit uh, with a polo that has stars so this is kind of a play off that a little bit with the red white and blue but this is like you know that polo I have for uh, the 4th of July was actually for the 4th of July only. I don't feel like wearing stars throughout the year and all that stuff. Look funny with a 4th of July polo on. Like, you know, around Halloween or something or, you know, or a different time of year. So, um, yeah, navy blue. Not, it shouldn't be too hard to find a navy blue polo. Rustic red uh, jean shorts with the cuff on it. Both of these joints are from H&M. Um, nice with each other. Nice color. Nice hint. That's what I wear, you know. Um, also, um, bringing out the gray tank top. It's just this is an optional top uh, with those red shorts, the rustic red. You can still keep playing with the rustic red and put a gray with it. Um, this is if it's uh, real hot in your area, right here. You know, obviously, if you stand in California or Florida, you know, where the temperatures are like above 90, most definitely, and it's a little too hot to wear a t-shirt or a button-up or something like that or a polo shirt you could definitely use gray and red um, the original fit if you don't uh, got the tank top is the long sleeve polo shirt now this one particularly is from H&M and this is this can go with this like that the the rustic red pops uh, with the gray um, I tried to find my that David Beckham collection crap uh, <laughs> It's a short sleeve uh, gray polo as well, but um, only one I can find right now from H&M is my long sleeve one. And you know, it don't necessarily have to be from H&M, you know, just you can pick up a gray polo from like Walmart or something and then, you know, still put it with this. And it's just something clean and basic. Or you can do a Ralphie style one, you know, obviously had a horse on there, but it's just to get the uh, your color points across and you know, just to kind of like have that burst at the bottom red with the shorts and then the gray kind of like smokes it off you know I know I'm a little metaphorical with my uh, <laughs> clothes but I'm just deep off into this I just gotta you know colors filling and all that stuff so moving on to the next fit this is definitely um, a fit you're gonna see a lot for me in the fall right here but it's still a nice end of summer essential. Um, this is called, probably called it's the uncle shirt, or is definitely a '90s shirt. Definitely Aztec. 
Southwestern. I um, also had this in one of my recent pickups. Got this from Forever 21. It's actually so good, I actually paid full price for it. And you know me, I'm like Mr. Clearance Fresh. So I actually paid full price for this joint, 24 bucks. Um, these match good with this, obviously. Um, as far as I think I might be able to do another color of uh, uh, shorts with it. Uh, these are jean shorts, though. Oops. Uh, black with the rip at the bottom. Kind of give it that that grunge kind of like you know feel it gets like frayed at the bottom too so definitely a nice fit I'm just like so off with aiming my clothes to the camera here we go this is how this looks put this in front of that so that's how this will look this shirt should still be available at Forever 21 if you ain't pick it up yet or if you're thinking about picking it up um, Next and last fit is the one I actually like to call my little grunge fit in a way. And that is this one. Um, I might have mentioned it in my pickup video for Fever 21 when I came back from Atlanta. Um, I said throw this together and get the grunge on. <clears throat> and also too, you can also do this with like black skinny jeans or something like that as well. Uh, with the last shirt and um, this shirt as well, preferably. But since it's hot out, and this is the last of the summer essentials. Um, if it's supply, if it's not too hot out, uh, preferably I'd rather wear the red flannel over the over the wolf t-shirt that I have. Um, like I said, I got the wolf t-shirt for like six bucks from Cape, well no, Sears and Stone Crest in Atlanta, Stone Crest Mall. Black shorts that I just had previously with the other Southwestern shirt. I actually wore this on vacation. Uh, when we were leaving and uh, definitely is a fresh fit so yeah I hope y'all guys enjoy um, you know those fit combinations today not too many people get off in the fit combinations um, I did some earlier in my channel when I used to be beaters to here so you can also check those as well but those are from last year but those are also still a little bit more colorful definitely those are also still like um, some of the start in the summers like those most of the summers too and also a few sweatshirts for like chilly nights or colder nights um i meant to also say as well um you can definitely throw for the sake of these kicks being here remember i said the gray and the red um shorts you can definitely throw, you know, some Bugs Bunny with those joints and matches. Obviously, <laughs> gray, red shorts, and then the Bugs Bunnies with them. And, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, that's just a kick right here on my hand, but... You know, sometimes I come through with the kicks and point those out too, but the video would have been like 30 minutes long if I did that. But rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming with fit videos for you. Uh, combination fits, as I like to call them, because, you know, we pull something out old, pull something out new, put it together, get you together, we're straight. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. I am out. Peace. Follow me at Neil Goodfella. I am out.